are pushing up against my lungs. Like my lungs went from like this to like my lungs are like this. <laughs> so I'm trying to breathe and it's like with every breath, it's hard, like it's giving me shortness of breath. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Today is February 14th, 2023. Y'all, look at, I'm, I, I am really loving these earrings. And look at my little necklace or whatever. It goes great with my earrings. But anyways, y'all, happy Valentine's Day. Um, So right now, me and my fabulous husband, we are getting ready to go. I need some more scrubs for, for work. I've been um procrastinating on buying new ones. I had the same scrubs that I have now since like 2019. And it's time for um time for some new ones. So that's where we are about to go. We are getting ready to go to Walmart. Yes, I said Walmart for scrubs. Normally, I've always gotten my scrubs from um Uniform Advantage. I thought it was a creature in the backyard. I normally get our uniform from Uniform Advantage, but Walmart I saw had some um cheaper uniform so that's where we're going so we're gonna go to walmart and then we are going out to lunch um i'm just wearing like a little jogger outfit because it's cold outside y'all haven't worn this purse my husband bought me this purse many years ago and i haven't worn it in a long time because i don't know i just feel like it's like too girly girl like, not saying that I'm not girly, but I'm not girly girl, if that makes sense. So, had to bring her out of the closet. And he also bought me these shoes. They're just some Adidas. So, today is my first time wearing them. And, y'all, I don't know if y'all recognize my outfit. But this is the outfit that I got from, um... Ooh, child. This is the outfit that I got from Ross. <laughs> so in this video y'all we got two topics that we're gonna talk to y'all about today let me see if i cut off this light if it's gonna make the footage better not really so i'm gonna talk to y'all in the car look who i have here y'all tell her don't act like that y'all so i got a what nice, up? i got on this hot behind outfit it was a little chilly earlier because I put my hand to the window and the window was cold. So that would tell you if it's cold or not outside. And my husband was like, oh yeah, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Now that we are outside, I am burning up. I got in this hot behind outfit. It's just, and I'm stuck in it. Y'all, it's 62 degrees and she's still complaining. I'm hot. I don't like, know I'm, why. I am sweating. You're not hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. What you want to eat? So y'all, it is 9.28 in the morning. Like I said earlier, we are stopping by Walmart. Look, he's at the stop sign. And then, um, yeah, to let the people know he'll cross the guard <laughs> on the bike. Really? So, <laughs> so um, like I said earlier, happy Valentine's Day. And I do want to touch on that topic just a little bit. So, um, I hope y'all are not showing love or being loved only today. Because I think it's very important that you guys are randomly showing love and are randomly getting love on random days. Um, like, just for us, for example, like, my husband celebrates me randomly. Not just on birthdays, not just on Christmas, not just on Valentine's Day. Like, when I say it's randomly, it's random. But anyways, you got something to say you want, uh, about it? Real quick, Valentine's Day. Yeah, I agree with what you said because it shouldn't be only on Valentine's Day. You should show your love throughout the year. Why exactly. only on one specific day? I think Valentine's Day is overrated, first of all. Second of all, I think people go out and spend all that unnecessary money when they can spend it throughout the year, giving them giving a significant other a gift throughout the year. But it's not even about gifts. It's no, about doing like, stuff too. By like showing your love and no, appreciation of the person. Exactly. And like doing stuff, going out, having experiences. Exactly. Like so many people have materialistic stuff, but they don't have no stories to tell. Nope. So I'm like, okay, girl, go ahead. <laughs> well, all your stuff while I'm over here, you know, experiencing life. But anywho, so today in this video, 
we are going to be talking about you know like if you become successful would you help others out you want to start off no you can't so yes definitely like if i become successful and we are cool and i know you and i know that you're trying to do something better then yes i'm gonna go over and beyond with trying to help you um and even if that means you become more successful than me you know good for you but if I'm successful, then 100%, yeah. Like at work or even with family, they see that you're trying to do better. They see that um, you are trying your hardest to do whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish. And they have already accomplished certain things, but they just got their nose in the air and they refuse to help you. Um, and then when you go to them for advice, the answer is always, oh, I don't know, go on Google. And it's like, you do know because you're successful to what degree though you're a healthy person um to what degree that's a good question i guess it just depends on what it is that you're trying to do um because i'm gonna give you the resources but don't expect me to do the work for you if that's what you mean like i'm gonna give you all the resources i'm gonna show you the road Would you but i'm not gonna do it for you Would you some way help them financially financially oh just my kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> Financially. Mm, well, okay. Talking talk about like investing in their company. Investing you, in their company. Yeah. If you think. If it, I see that they're putting in the work, because you know how you can get some people resources and literally give them stuff step by step. But it's still. Not but enough. it's still not enough for them. Like they want you to do all of the steps for them, and it's like no, 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 no. I'm giving you the steps. I'm giving you the resources. Take it do it if i see that you are doing it and if i am that successful then yeah i'll invest but you know what i noticed as well you could give a person all the stuff that they need but some people when it comes down to that stuff are more slower than others so they really need so then somebody. i'll be more slow in investing <laughs> no it's but it's not a bad thing because they still they still is doing the the stuff that they need to do to get to that point but at the same time, they just slower than others. Would you continue to help them? Like, continue to work with them and showing them the, how to get to that point that they are trying to get to? Yeah, like, I would definitely give them that push. I think that's what they probably would need, that push. Because they probably feel like they're just scared of the unknown. Like, even though they see that I'm successful, they don't know how theirs is going to turn out. So, it's, you know, it's, it has a lot to do with fear. I think that's what a lot of people go through the fear of the unknown because honestly that's what i'm going through now like i want to do this business and i've been sitting on it for a while and i even went out bought inventory and everything um to get started but i didn't actually start because it's like first of all it's of the unknown and because i'm not i know people may say oh you don't have to be big on social media but because i'm not big on social media and i feel like social media is like a platform to help your business it's just like if i'm not big on social media if i don't have friends if i don't speak to like i don't really have family who am i gonna sell this stuff to how am i gonna get my name out there how am i gonna get my products out there so it's definitely fear of wasting money i feel it of failing um but there's times when i'm like like i literally go back and forth yeah i think we all do and trying to become successful it's very hard and it's very frustrating especially when you don't have the financial freedom like others get your finger actually why you worry about you want me to put my finger in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> so um <laughs> you messed up my train of thought I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's very frustrating. Like, and I shut down. Like, he know I will shut completely down and not talk to nobody when I feel like you just being a butthole, knowing that you can help me. And I'm not saying do everything for me. Like, help me with the resources and stuff. Or you know, if you're big on social media, help me. Like, it's not. It's not gonna kill you. You can't see. It's not going to kill you to help. But whatever. It's all good. What it's meant to be will be. And you know, you got to leave stuff in God's pushing. hands. got to keep pushing. So this is all the uniform that they have. I want some joggers. 
so that's what I'm gonna get. To me, these look a little big. I don't know. Let me get my husband to ask him to see what he thinks. You no, know, I'm so sad. I went up uh, thinking I'm gonna give me some cheap scrubs or whatever that look nice. And as y'all can see from the previous clip, the fit of those pants just wasn't right. And that was a small. And I had, um, it was a little bigger. Y'all may be like, oh, so why didn't you get an extra small? Because the pants, like the scrub type, I can't even talk. <laughs> the scrub type that I wanted was joggers. And those were joggers. But even at the ankles, it wasn't fitting right. It was very, like, loose. It just didn't feel right. So, I guess back to uniform advantage we go. Um, so, like I said, that's normally oh, what I always get my scrubs from there anyways. But I was trying to avoid it. But um, my husband been telling me I need some more uniform. Even my supervisor told me yesterday. She was like, yeah, you need to get some more uniform. <laughs> because my pants pocket is like dangling. Um, and one of the scrubs says in between my thighs. Because, um, you know, when you thick or whatever, your thighs be rubbing when you walk. So it creates holes. But the material that I get, it's not like that cotton material. I don't like the cotton material. Because the cotton material... It's only gonna last you a good few months up to a year. And like I said, the scrubs that I had, that I have at home, I had those since um, 2019. And they just now starting to form a hole in between my thick thighs or whatever. Your thighs area, you don't need to say all that air Thickness. Y'all see some air <laughs> So I just ended up buying some tank tops from Walmart. Um, I got light gray, dark gray, red, and like a navy blue. Is that navy? I always get confused between navy and royal blue. Is navy or royal? That's navy. Oh, navy blue. No, no, is that royal? I don't know. I get confused between That's navy. navy. I always got to Google. So right now we are on our way to Uniform Advantage. The restaurant that we're going to doesn't open until um, 11 30. So we're just going to buy some time. And once we get there, of course, we're going to show y'all the food. Yeah, we're going to do a little reaction too. Bam. <laughs> Tell her no drinking. So, no drinking. so if y'all not here no for drinking. the long vlogs, y'all might as well click off because this is going to extend. You think so? Yeah, it's going to be a long vlog. Right? No. No. Nah. See, y'all, if they, if they really like us or whatever, they'll watch the whole thing. Y'all watching our videos, just like it. Even if you don't like it, <laughs> put a thumbs up. Leave a comment. We want our platform to be as interactive as possible, you know? Like, even though we're not posting the videos about a month later, but that's okay. We want our platform to be interactive. We want our um, platform to be like an open space where people can be open and honest and rant and rave and vent. But in a in a good way, not in a I don't know how to explain that. Like don't bring no negativity, but if you want to vent about something then do it. Like it's a difference between venting and just being straight up negative. Yeah. Negative and nasty. Right, we just left uniform advantage and I am very pleased with the uniform I got. I finally got my little joggers. So I got me four um pairs of uniforms. So I got um four shirts four tops four bottoms and four long sleeve shirt and it was buy one get one fifty percent off so my total with taxes came up to 250 and some change this uniform should last me another between three to five years before i have to buy some more so i actually like my uniform it's really nice it does look, it look very nice those joggers like i've been seeing everybody else with joggers and i'm walking around with the old type pants y'all know the pants the scrub pants at the bottom they got a little slit flabby. at the very end <laughs> so they just like flabby and i'm like damn everybody else looking cute in their uniform and i'm over here with the old uniform i'm finally on the way to the restaurant it's 11 12 um so we're on our way to the restaurant and i guess we can talk about whether or not we would um because we have tattoos y'all seen his tattoos his tattoos are visible like on his arms he got on his chest and on his back my tattoos i have it on my back my rib cage and my leg so my tattoos i can cover you won't know see it unless i'm like in a bikini or wearing shorts or something like that so the topic i guess would be will we allow our kids or do we want our kids to have tattoos I wouldn't want 
them to have tattoos only because of what comes behind them having tattoos and what they are experience because of their tattoos. Because whether you like it or not, a judge lot of people it. judge a person on their tattoos and it make it harder for them to get jobs because of tattoos. And then not only that, the most important one because of what it says in the Bible. Yeah, I know we was young yeah. and I don't want them to go through with the same thing that we went through. The regret. Yeah, the regret of getting tattoos. Because for me, yeah, it goes back to the Bible because, you know, we're spiritual people. We believe in God or whatever. So knowing what we know now, we're like, dang, like we messed our bodies up. And that's something that we weren't supposed to do. But I can say for me, the reason why I got a tattoo, honestly, is because everybody kept telling me, you better not get a tattoo. So as soon as I turned 18, I was like, okay, I better not get a tattoo. I'm 18. I'm finna go get a tattoo. So you got your so, first tattoo when you was 18? Yeah, I got my first tattoo when I was 18. As soon as I turned 18, I went right to the tattoo shop and I got my first tattoo. And that tattoo was a dumb tattoo. Like, I'm a Sagittarius, so on my back it literally says Sagittarius. So that was my first tattoo. So I got it only because I kept being told, you no. better not get a tattoo. And honestly, I don't even know why they brought that upon. Because I don't. Remember, I don't know if I kept saying I'm gonna get a tattoo or I like tattoos. I honestly don't know why I kept being told you better not get a tattoo. Um, so when I got the tattoo, I mean, <clears throat> was the people you hang around had tattoos? No, no, the one person I knew she had got a tattoo first, she did. So that's probably the reason why it's part of it was only one person because I was in high school still. She got a tattoo on her leg. And then, like I said, when I turned 18, I went and got a tattoo on my back. And then I went home, of course, I showed, I don't remember my mama's reaction, to be honest. I know I showed my mama. Oh, I think maybe, maybe she thought it was fake. I really don't remember her reaction too much. My grandma reaction, she wasn't pleased. She was upset. Why would you do that? Now you messed up your body and da 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 and then my auntie, my auntie, my auntie crazy. I remember her, she wasn't too happy about it, but I was like, and then she was like, why you got it so big? She was upset, but she wasn't as upset, if that makes sense. Um, but again, it's on my back, so I can cover it. You wanna see it if I got on a bikini or something, so. And then the one on my rib cage, I got it because it's my son's, like my oldest son's name and his date of birth. So I just wanted my son on me. So I got his name, his full name and date of birth on my right side rib cage. And I was thinking about getting my youngest son on my left side rib cage, but because, you know, I'm trying to do right, I can't turn around and get another tattoo, even though I feel bad that I have one child and not the other. And then the tattoo on my leg, on my ankle, I got that before I got the one on my rib cage. What happened was I allowed an old friend boyfriend to do the tattoo on my ankle now what he drew out is exactly what i wanted like he, he drew it on the paper and that's exactly what i wanted but when he was done with my ankle it wasn't even halfway it wasn't even 50 percent close to what he drew on the paper and that was my um my granddaddy's name so it was my grandfather's name with like a cute little heart but again when he was done with the tattoo it looked nothing like what he drew so basically he started freestyling on my dog on ankle messed it up it's very big it was bulky it wasn't it just wasn't cute so i had to get that covered up with another tattoo which made it larger so it's like two i think i had two three flowers on my ankle with the um butterfly so in other words how many you regret it so you sound like you regret it well, I regret all my tattoos in a way that, you know, knowing what I know now about the Bible. But if I wasn't trying to change, the only tattoos I regret is the Sagittarius on my back because it was just stupid to put my sign on my back. And then letting that individual tattoo my ankle. I think the one that I regret is the one that's on my chest. And what's the other one? It's time to play. Oh, the one that's on my back. Oh, the chest and the back. Yeah. 
chest and the back is the only two I remember. But the one on my back, it was like he was writing on my bone. When you get that feeling? No, the one on my um real cage, I'm like, sir. <laughs> and he was so heavy handed. And it's and back then, like I said, I was skinny. I had like no extra yeah, fat too. to spare. So it's like I felt every little thing. Mm -hmm. It Especially was with the burning. Shady. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't get shady because it's just Technically, I have four tattoos, but because it's a cover-up, I have three. He has one, two, three, four, five, six tattoos. Oh, six. I gotta get one more then. <laughs> I gotta get one more to get rid of that number. So, um, our kids have asked us, you know, why did we get tattoos? You know, because they're at that curious I state. Think, I think that uh, my youngest one said that was a dumb reason. Oh, our, oh, our youngest son, he gave it to us. He was like, what? Why y'all got tattoos? That's stupid. Why would y'all do that? So he put us in our place. The oldest one, I think because he's preteen, he's going through his stages where he might be contemplating it, to be honest. But I told him, absolutely not. Like, you are not getting it. It's cutting off your face. That's a decision you are not yeah, getting I mean, it. when he's out of our house. Exactly, because we're not allowing that. So... I mean, he's a little curious about it, but he said that he's not interested in him because he don't want to mess up his body. But the fact that he asked and he asked more than once, I think he's contemplating it. Um, just like he's been contemplating dreads because, I mean, he was young when my husband had dreads, so he don't remember him having dreads. Like, he looked back at the photos of him with dreads. Um, but his uncle, which is his brother, his younger brother has dreads. So he's always around him. So he's made comments about it. I, like he's like, oh, I want my hair like that. Like, basically saying he wants dreads. And I told him, no, mm, no, we're not doing that. But, I mean, if he wants to dress, I don't want to put no dress in his hair, honestly. But if he wants it, then I'll do the, the neat ones. We could do a trial. Yeah, we could do a trial. Like, I'll do the neat. They have to be very neat. And I will do them because I know I will make them neat. So, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to what I guess right now. Um, you know, he's growing his hair out. Cause he want to wear it naturally curly but he keep combing it with the afro comb so i mean your curls not gonna pop if you're constantly combing it out so do we want our kids to get tattoos no if they get it will we disown them or be so upset with no. them no Never because had. again at the end of the day who are we to judge like we got exactly. tattoos ourselves exactly. so a lot of parents do that a lot too yeah they do something on dog them well the stuff they was doing the kids not even know what close to doing the stuff they doing but the moment they do something wrong then they want to um i was gonna say pa patronize them yeah to disown them. them and cuss them out and fuss them out and tell them they ain't nothing and how they gonna do this and how they gonna do that the same way you did it hmm. and better <laughs> that's it and that's all so I mean, it is what it is. Of course, we want the best for our kids, like most parents, normal parents anyways. We want the best for our kids, and we want them to be the opposite of what we did because we've been there, done that. So we live through it. But again, people don't understand things until they live through it themselves. Yeah, until they experience it. Yeah, until they experience it. And then they be like, oh, this is what, you know, mommy and daddy was talking about. So, but I would never, like, get yeah. to the point where I'm upset with them and won't speak to them because... They did something I didn't like, you know? It's their decision. They got to live with it. Everybody got to make that little mistake. Exactly. So, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and talk to my husband off camera. Look at that. Oh, that's a disaster. Yes, yeah, it's a disaster. Off camera. And then I'll get back on once we get to the restaurant. Okay, hey, y'all. So, we ended up coming to um, Benny Hanna. This isn't the restaurant we wanted to go to. The one we wanted to go to, they had like a 30, 40 minute wait. And because we have to get the kids from school, we can't wait 30, 40 minutes just to see it. So we ended up just walking down the street to Benny Honey, Benny Hana. We are in um, Corey. So it's literally down the street from season 52. Like if you guys watch our vlogs, then you will see that we went to season 52. So we parked in front of season 22 and then just walked on down. So um, 
I ended up getting the beef and chicken duet lunch meal with some type of alcoholic breadage. I forgot which one. But they got like coconut, pineapple. It's a frozen drink. And then my husband, he got the spicy chicken lunch combo. And then I also told her to bring me some um, strawberry mochi at the end. So we're gonna get some of that. So it only comes with three, but I can't eat too much of that um, ice cream mochi anyway. So, and then my husband left me and he went to the bathroom. What that look like? <laughs> <laughs>
You don't like it? You don't like it? You don't like it? You don't like it for real? So it's like a dough with um ice cream in it. Yeah, that's probably. I know. That's probably what they did. <laughs> and they put some strawberries so in there. So now we got it. I don't want it. We could have went to Pumpkin. Okay. Look what's going on here. Look what's going on here. Get that on your side. Yeah, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I like this. I know. It's good. I like it. He doesn't like Good it. Ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm going back to this. Get back in the plane. Why are you going to get back to the plane? Yeah, she makes you money. She just don't want to be wasting her money. My money is your money. You paying for it. <laughs> That's yours. Mm. Mm. It's so cold. Uh, ice cream. No, it's not. It looks ice cream. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm ready right now. There you go. Y'all, we back in the car. Um, Benny Hannes was good, but again, it's just like samurai. Samurai. Uh, Y'all see my baby? You know he look good in red. That's my color. It makes him look brighter, brings out his complexion more. This rubber ain't keep fucking. Y'all, I am so full. Let me tell you how full I am. <laughs> I was telling him how full I am, and he started laughing at me. I am so full. I feel like my stomach, my insides <laughs> are pushing up against my lungs. Like, my lungs went from, like, this to, like, my lungs are like this. <laughs> so, I'm trying to breathe, and it's like with every breath, it's hard. Like, it's giving me shortness of breath just from being full. Yeah, I, I know some of y'all probably know exactly what I mean. Y'all probably felt or feel that way too after eating. Like my lungs feel like they just shrunk, like not even shrunk, like they just being pushed up against. So it's causing me to have shortness of rough. <laughs> and a hard time breathing. And a hard time breathing. Y'all don't listen to this nonsense. You look like a cherry starburst. That's just an itchy. But, um, so, now we're finna get ready in this vlog, so, right Two now, shoes. um, who the child? They tag hanging down. I'm finna, um, we're finna go, I need some more work shoes, because the work shoes I got, again, I wore them for a year, but it's like this soft material, like how, um, I can't even describe mosquito, mosquito, the material, like the net material. So they easily get holes in them. So at the top of my big toe app, I got a hole in it. Like you can see my sock. It's not that big of a hole, but I see it. So I'm gonna go get me two new pairs of tennis shoes. So that way I can alternate my shoes instead of versus wear one shoe every day. One, wear one Monday through, one, what, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The other one, Tuesday, Thursday. I'm blocking my face. I'm blocking your face. You can't never block something so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, my so eyebrow. Cool. I'm going to take off my eyebrow. Ah. <laughs> it's going to rub my eyebrow right off. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, um, again, happy Valentine's Day. We hope that y'all are feeling love not only today, but every day. We hope that y'all are giving love not only today, but every day. And we will talk to y'all in our next video. Tell them. Bye. <laughs>